Good afternoon. Um, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Can I have an approval for the consent agenda? I make a motion to approve the consent agenda, unless Paul wants to. I think I, I may have overspoken. So Paul, Paul made the motion. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Um, sorry. That was me. Okay. Uh, can I have the finance report? Approval of the minutes. Did you approve the minutes? I did not. I have approval of the minutes from the previous uh, meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Ayes have it. Um, All right, finance report. Uh, currently, between our checking, the escrow, and the savings, we have $160,155 and some change. Uh, current ELB property assets of $1.3 million. Uh, interest income. To, uh, our income last month, $146,000, with expenses totaling $115,199. Are there any questions on the finance report? I don't have any. Paul, do you have any? I don't have any. No, no, I don't. Uh, can I have an approval to um, accept the finance report? So moved. So moved. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Are there any citizens here to be heard for, for citizen comments? Hi, is this one? Yes. Uh, Jeremy Blazer, Bayfront Eastside Task Force. We're located at 231 Parade Street. Uh, just a couple items I wanted to uh, address on uh, this month's agenda. Uh, your vacant lot proposal you're going to be reviewing for 354 East 3rd Street. Uh, Michelle Snyder, who's here in the audience, is a uh, longtime resident of the East Bayfront. Uh, her property, she has multiple, uh, are directly adjacent to this property. Uh, this has been a ongoing uh, blighted and and for the last few years vacant property in our neighborhood that the land bank thankfully uh, through ARP dollars I believe were able to acquire and demolish and remove the problem from our neighborhood so uh, we are in full support of Ms. Snyder's uh, proposal to take over this property to uh, continue improving it and uh, make it part of her property uh, that she currently owns so that's the first thing I wanted to address uh, the second item I wanted to uh, bring to your attention is uh, BEST has uh, two agreements uh, of sale uh, from the 2020, I believe it was the 2020 judicial sale. So for 614 and a half East 5th Street, uh, and there's a, uh, a bunch of other um, adjacent uh, properties that just have index numbers, no actual addresses, uh, as well as 445 East 5th Street. Uh, these are two properties that were on the tax sale, as I said. The land bank, thankfully, on our behalf, uh, acquired those. Um, we have been working to get those into our possession. Uh, the land bank also was able to remove the bladed properties that existed on those. Uh, last week, I had my uh, attorney look into uh, proceeding on uh, fully closing on those so we could get them under our uh, ownership. Um, she discovered that none of the uh, quiet title work had been done on them yet. So um, uh, I don't know if your uh, solicitor is online or, or with you today, but uh, we paid $5,500 back in January of 2021 to try to purchase these. I'm not really sure what has happened except not much. Um, and so we, uh, the neighborhood thinks we own them. We, we advertise it like we already own these properties and we'd be uh, happy to take them in our possession to pay taxes, to clean them up. But, you know, this is an ongoing long process and I just want to bring that to your attention. So hopefully someone can help us fully acquire those. And, and that's, that's 814 and a half East 5th Street and 445 East 5th Street? 445 East 5th, and I didn't hear the full number you said. So 614 and a half. 614 and a half East 5th. Awesome. And then that has a couple other index numbers with it as well. Right. Okay, our solicitor right. is here. I don't know if he's prepared sure. um, to comment on those, but 
he'll look into those. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Jeremy, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. Uh, 354, could, uh, could you tell me where that's at exactly? I'm here on Zoom, so I Sure, yeah. Right on the corner of 3rd and Parade, you can see a blue property. That's 232 Parade. That's one of best owned rental properties. There's a row of garages going to the west uh -huh. along East 3rd. It's the first house after the row of garages. Okay, thanks, Jerry. You're welcome. I got it. Are there any other citizen comments? Okay, we'll move into the report of the executive director. Thank you. Uh, just one update today. Uh, everyone should have received in their email this morning from our auditor, from Felix and Glucker, who has started the audit, uh, some communication for the board members. If you haven't seen it, if you could review that and follow up with her if you have any questions or responses to that letter. Other than that, that's my report for today. Thank you, Anne. Solicitor's report. I would like to address, I uh, spoke with attorney Laura Mott um, to uh, expedite the uh, quiet title actions as a result of acquiring the properties from the tax sale that enabled us to be able to start that process to confirm with the title search and file the uh, quiet title actions. That, that's going to be, that, that's in process, probably going to be filed this week so that we can expedite this and turn this around and get the transfers. Uh, out um, to best. Th that's what we want to do, and that's what, that's that's what will be done. So um, I spoke to her. I think it was last week to give her an update, and we'll keep and we'll certainly keep her posted throughout that process. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And that's all. That's all that I. Had. That's, that's all, all you I have. Had. Yeah. Okay, Thank thanks. Okay, so unfinished business and new business. Um, there is a developer proposal for 333 East 13th Street. I don't know if anybody is here to speak on that. There's not. There's not. Okay, so. So we put 333 East 13th Street up for development proposals. We did have multiple showings on it, but we did only receive one proposal. Um, uh, he is a developer that is actually under contract right now for 708 Payne as well. We had transferred that to him several months ago. Um, so as far as his ability to be able to do these remodels, um, he's a contractor, he's a licensed contractor, this is what he does. So um, I don't have any issues with that. We did put, this was a property that we put a minimum bid on of 2500 He bid 2501 so. He did have an escalation clause, but without any other offers, there wouldn't be a reason to escalate it up. Any, there any discussion on this? What was that question, Paul? Yeah, I just wanted to know the developer's name for the record. Oh, it's Extend Realty LLC. Um, he, his name's Miro. Is there any other discussion on this property? I will make the motion to accept the proposal as presented. Can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Second. Aye. Yes. Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so there is the vacant lot. At 354 East 3rd Street, is there anyone here to comment on that vacant lot? I think just what we heard from Jeremy. Okay. So it is a side yard. Um, <clears throat> the individual does not have any pass due taxes, no pass due utilities, and they do not own any other blighted properties. Any discussion? Uh, Debbie, I just want to tell uh, Jeremy how good everything's looking down in that area and thank him for his work and best. Uh, the neighborhood looks really, really good. Thank you, Paul. Sorry. We get 
applause every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> not, not very frequently, but. Uh, I will make a motion to accept the proposal as presented. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Second. Aye. Thank you. The ayes have it. Is there any other business? Uh, that is all for today. Uh, and one thing I forgot to mention is in my report, we do have several hearings next week on multiple properties, a lot of those associated with the Erie Land Bank. So hopefully by the end of next week, we have some resolution on several properties that we've been waiting on. Thank you. All right, so if there's no other business, um, I call for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. <laughs> All in favor, we're adjourned. Thank Second. you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.